So if you want to, if you already know that you're able to go through all those steps and they all work, you can create a script to do that. All you got to do is, well, I already created them right over here, but I'll show you how I did it. Create new text file, and we'll call this one setup, I guess. I already have that. Let's do start up, and we're gonna name it dot sh. And right here, okay. And now let's open it with kwrite. And basically, we're just gonna type in the steps that we want to do. So let's type in here mon dash ng stop wn zero if config wn zero down mac changer mac Start WN zero and hero dump dash ng WN zero and we're gonna save that and before we could use it we have to create a LinkedIn application and we'll call this startup application find application on the desktop start up at sh advanced run terminal do not close when done okay and general click there click add and make sure that you have console selected just to make sure console is selected there. Run in terminal, do not close. Take a second to do that. And click apply. Okay. 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 Before we can actually use this script, we need to sort of compile it. So let's open up a shell. And we're going to type in chmod 700. And we need to drag in the location. We could just click paste. It will bring up this directory. Click enter. Okay, and now it should be able to be used. Now, all you need to do is plug in your USB adapter and double click the icon startup. And that will do the rest. Pretty scanning all the networks. And so let's start cracking the WPA encryption. Let's go for my router, which is kv 12 k So let's check Control C. Now remember, we need the channel, which is channel three. We need the BSSID, which is right here. So let's right-click the BSSID, click Copy, let's open up another shell, which we could click this icon right here. Zero dump minus mg minus c. Our channel, which is three minus w. We'll name this test dash dash BSSID. Shift insert or right click paste and our interface. Okay, well, as you can see, the data is going up slowly. So let's stimulate some more data. Open up another shell. First, we gotta we have to associate. So we're gonna have an airy play, that's mg, minus 1, 0, minus a, shift insert, minus h, and our fake mac, and our interface. Association successful, and you get the smile face. Now let's type in Airy Play dash mg minus three minus b shift insert minus h and zero to five and our interface. Now it's going to be waiting for ARP requests. Wow, ARP requests going up pretty quick. Okay, now let's get the data. At ready at two thousand data. 44 seconds, wow. Okay. Well, this is one way of doing it. Another way is if you don't have a client, which I'll show you afterwards as soon as this finishes. So, let's try cracking it. Type in here, crack, dash ng, test, 
test-01.cap. Even though we named it test, it's going to put a dash 01, or if you do test five times, it's going to be dash 05. So remember to keep track of how many times you do it. Hit enter, and it will try to crack it. Okay, there we have it. Key found. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 0. When typing it in, when you try to connect, just leave out the colons. Just type in 1 to 0. Okay, so that is using the dash 3 command. Let's end this. And we're already associated, so let's type in the other command. Here you play dash ng minus 2 minus t. 0841 minus C F F F F F F minus B shift insert minus H 0 5 and your interface. We'll start reading the packet. I'll instantly found the packet. Let's put yes. And that's another technique which will generate a lot of packets as you can see in my other videos. And that's generating a lot of packets. And then you can just crack the same way, same technique. Okay, now for WPA. Okay, so let's do a WPA attack. So let's just double click the startup script, and that will start up everything we need. And remember, for WPA, you're going to need a handshake. You're not looking for any packets. So, you definitely are going to need someone connected to the network to acquire the handshake. Okay, so, here is my network, KD12K, let's hit Control c encryption WPA, channel 3, my BSSID, copy that BSSID, open up another shell, arrow dump, dash ng minus c three minus w call this one wpa dash dash bssmd shift insert w lan zero okay well remember you're gonna need someone connected to the network so just wait till someone gets connected here there we go there i am now let's acquire a handshake do that we just gotta deauthenticate them so type in here here play dash ng minus zero five minus a shift insert w land zero. Now we're just gonna try to deauthenticate everyone off the network. So let's wait a couple seconds. And there we go. WPA handshake acquired. Now once you have the handshake pretty simple to crack it. Just gonna type in error crack dash ng the name of it, WPA, remember dash 01 dot CAP and we have to specify dictionary file dot dot dash w. To get a dictionary well error crack has a decent dictionary. I mean it's not gonna crack anything. You really have to go online and download one. But we can just go into the folder here and copy the file path of this dictionary. We're going to go to aircrack, test, password list. I, my password is in the list. It's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 0. And we're just going to drag the file path into aircrack. So let's just drag it in. Okay. Hit enter. And instantly found it. 1, 2, 3, 2, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, 0. Okay. I hope that this tutorial has been informative. And 
many more tutorials to come. Subscribe and please donate. Thank you.